those circumstances. What about what are you, Keith? You're you're an ANCAP, no doubt, huh? Yeah. Well, yes, I would say that uh, I do want uh, pr property rights enforced. I want courts. I want a lot of these oh. things, oh. schools. Ha however, uh, I'm not willing to initiate aggression to. Yeah. Uh, to, to achieve them. I also need food, clothing, housing, lighting, but I'm not willing to initiate aggression. And also say that we need a court system. I always think on the principle of voluntarily funded competition yeah. is superior to coercively funded monopoly. Yes. I believe that applies in the Gustav D. Molinari uh, method of, it, if it applies to all industries except police courts, and well, why does it not apply to those? Well, I I also believe it does. So even if you run into the, uh, you, you know, it's hard to exclude people from the benefits of an army. Well, uh, you can still crowdfund those things. You can voluntarily fund them. We have a lot of charity. And yeah. also, why does this group government have the right to collect funds coercively, but no other group because you vote for them? Well, let's say the Catholic Church every four years lets you vote for the Pope. Then does the Pope have the right to tax you and regulate you and so forth? So because government, by definition, is based on initiating violence against peaceful people on property it hasn't acquired through voluntary exchange or original appropriation, I think all government's illegitimate. I would just say, if Gene Epstein can't do it, then Donald Trump can't do it. If you write words down on paper and call them an executive order, that doesn't make them moral. Or if, uh, you know, yeah. if, if you did any of the things government did, you would be a warmongering terrorist, thief, and psycho trying to violently dominate people. So I just hold government to the same standard I would hold any other group or organization to. That is where I... Oh my is, gosh. As far as the free rider problem goes, uh, well, tons of people uh, don't pay taxes. I think it was 47% pay no income tax. Mitt Romney got in trouble for that, of yeah. all things. So yeah. government doesn't solve the free rider problem. Also, oh, wow. uh, my house used to be in the middle of nowhere. Now there's tons of stores, tons of entertainment that has totally raised the value of my house. I've totally benefited from things other people have done. Just because I received that benefit, I don't think justifies them initiating aggression against me, forcing me to uh, be regulated in some way or another, or uh, uh, forcing me to fund things I otherwise wouldn't enjoy. For example, the mall close to me raised my house a ton in well, you know, as far as value goes, and they still don't have the right to force me to shop there. So I, I think uh, the free rider problem uh, does not justify a coercive.